Hello and welcome to the Watchman Channel. This prophetic word comes from Craig Cooney, ported on Northern Ireland. God won't anoint what he doesn't initiate. Flesh gives birth to flesh, but the spirit gives birth to spirit. John 3, 6. More than ever, we must discern the difference between what is initiated by the Holy Spirit and what is old thinking, a good idea, or human wisdom. Be careful not to simply replicate what worked in the past. The anointing is not there. The cloud has moved. The grace has lifted. It will feel shallow, empty, and hollow. It lacks power and presence. Ask, wait, listen, and obey. There is a stripping back to simplicity and purity of heart, a removal of extraneous and unnecessary, a dismantling of old structures and toppling of idols, a getting back to the heart and the core of what really matters, a return to things that endure into eternity. What got you here won't be enough to take you forward. What worked back then is inadequate for where you're going. The old wineskin cannot contain what God is pouring out in this new era. Ask, wait, listen, and obey. There is no formula. Old roadmaps are obsolete in this new territory. God is calling his people back to complete dependence on his spirit as we advance and build. You need real-time revelation. More shaking is coming. Storms are brewing on the horizon. Anything built with old plans, human wisdom, or current trends will crumble. Only that built by the plan and pattern of the Spirit will stand. In everything, turn to Him. Ask, wait, listen, and obey. Say no to anything that is not of Him. What you start, you must have to sustain in your own strength. It's exhausting. It won't endure. What He starts, He will grow and sustain, and flourish. The Holy Spirit has blueprints for your future. He has specific directions and detailed design. As for purpose, your heart to seek Him. He will reveal the next steps and stages. He so longs to lead you forward. Ask, wait, listen, and obey. See Psalm 127, 1, Isaiah 28, 23, 1 Corinthians 3, 12, and 13, and Galatians 5, 25 in your time with the Lord. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we purpose in our heart to seek you today. I thank you that you reveal to us that the Holy Spirit nudges us along the path. I thank you, Lord, for leading and guiding us into all truth. Lord, it is our deepest heart's cry to be a part of what you are doing, God. We want to be a part of what you are accomplishing on this earth Lord, we don't want to do anything of our own uh, strength. We don't want to do anything out of our own ideas. We don't want man's wisdom. We want it built on the rock. We want it built on you, Father. Lord, help us to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, we ask that we are sensitive to the leadings and the guidings that you give us. Help us to be that new wineskin that can contain what you are pouring out in this new era, God. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.